Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Rack. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just, please be careful when you tell her, and you should tell her, but... Beauty, I have to go. Just wait a second and listen. This is important. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I'm sorry, Snow, but this is important. I, I have something to tell you. Really, Bigby? It's so important it can't wait 15 minutes until it's maybe not at the worst possible time? I'm sorry, everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie, and you say you need her for evidence? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He'd 
disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Holly, Bigby's trying in, in his own way, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. Yeah, who was it? I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Holly, I didn't even want to crash this, okay? I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets frickin' shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? What's going on? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, The Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought, uh... I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fabletown for messing all of this up so badly. I thought you trusted me more than that. I do. Or... I want to, but... You've got a hot head and a big heart, and sometimes that's not the best combination. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. We really should go. And we will, okay? Two minutes. 
This is important too. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Constable? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. Like we're just out having a spring picnic. Stop this shit. Right. Now. Exactly our intention. He's been a good sport. Consider the shit stopped. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Ah. I got it, dumb.
I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Taking it easy is not really my thing, Doc. Well, whatever your thing is, try and make it work better for you next time. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels... Kind of like home. And I've heard it said that... Maybe in... Some... Tiny little bottled up way, deep inside... You kind of... Enjoy it. When things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. So what if I do? You think we're broken or something? Is that it? I don't know. Maybe we're just not cut out for this world. We can't eat each other's hearts anymore, Bigby. This can't be like the old days. We have to make it better. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. You waste an hour 
trying to fix this fucking thing. And it turns out you can't even finish the job. I tried, all right? It's okay. It's just... Maybe it's around here somewhere. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hello, Bigby. I, I can still, you know, I can still help you with Crane. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. when Cole was around. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Keep looking. Did you look through that stuff yet?
There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but- This isn't your concern. Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, alright? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, 
Crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. This is Briar Rose's place. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Why is the door open? Anyone in there? here. in the old days. Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week, Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work, if I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Math, 
science, history. I had to guess this shit didn't work. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Someone in there? Okay, well, there's gotta be an easier way. Damn it. Yep, still locked. Yep, still locked. Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, I've always wondered, do you get that wet dog smell when it rains? Like, do you have to wear a poncho? Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like. But before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. I'd like to keep all my teeth. I don't like being lied to. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. All right? <laughs> this is really fucking necessary. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? What's the point? What are you looking for? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. I know things. I could be really useful to someone like you, if you make it worth my while. What do you mean? Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. What do you say? Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. 
Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Our friend Jack was caught stealing. Now, oh, come on! Is that right? I thought we had an understanding. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find them. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, big guy, you can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. 
What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Bigby. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He said he'd make sure I got fired. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. There's no way they'll be okay with this, though. What am I gonna do? That's not really my problem. Right, I, I know. Sorry. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Tell you what? Can I just, I don't know, wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> <laughs> what do I care? Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and go back to jail. Now! Okay, relax, big guy. He's a shithead, but he didn't kill anybody. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some... Hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink. 
okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You didn't exactly help things by charging in like that. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's that called? Uh, blaming the victim? Something? Holly and I were the ones that got shot. So did I. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. So end whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? You're sure? There's nothing else you want to tell me. Or what, you're gonna burn me again? I'm sure as fucking sugar. There's nothing going on. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. 
Maybe, uh, ogres, too. You're such a waste of fucking... Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you found out the way you did. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. tonight but I still wish you could have been there I just don't know what Bigby's doing if he if he cares about it if he even gives a shit I don't know I don't know why he showed up I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life he's just he's trying to do what's right you think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Oh, I guess I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> 